long, long time oh, ago. Shut up. <laughs> okay, okay. In Tell me, what, what's the deal between far. you? Okay, what's what's the dollar cents, the wings, and what is it? I pay for everything. Okay, tell me. Start from the beginning. What happened? You you go to the McDonald's. Okay, so it was all like this. I bought ten wings at McDonald's for about ten dollars, and Evan said he wanted five wings, so I have to pay five dollars for those five wings that I ate. But I said, no, Evan, we're, you're gonna get four wings, but I'm still gonna pay five dollars. You don't have to change your. Voice. And he was like, okay, I'll do that. And I was like, yeah, you better. And that's just how it went down. Is that? Is that? You don't have to change your voice to to report it. So Ethan's a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, HIT computer was where Ethan and I was working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two o'clock it was, and Ethan found his stomach had the rumblings that only wings could cure. <laughs> and so we exited Tom's shop. We went out on the Black Horse Pike, and I took a U-turn with a BMW that I really did not like. <laughs> okay. We then headed over to a certain McDonald's, where Evan had already previously invested many hours in order to get a discount that he couldn't get there because he wasn't on duty. So Evan proceeded to, um, to buy Ethan and Evan McDonald's meals. Evan purchased a Big Mac, whose contents of the Big Mac sauce are still unknown today. <laughs> and for Ethan, he purchased a Crispy Club, a sandwich that composed entirely of chicken and some other stuff nobody cares about. <laughs> Ethan's Crispy Club cost about $5. Okay. Evan's Big Mac cost about another $5. This is including the meal. Ethan's Krispy Club cost about $4 as a sandwich only. Since we shared the fries and the drink of one meal, the total cost was about $10 for Evan, since Ethan keeps no money on him. I'm Ethan poor. pays all his debt off later when we reach our home again. Then I ate the sandwich, and I was like, no, that's not enough for me. Ethan's sandwich rang him up to $5 of debt to Evan to be paid back later. Alright, $5, okay. Evan, of course, pays for his own Big Mac, fries, and drink. Okay. You make it sound like a lot. Ethan <laughs> then decided, hey, are those Mighty Wings good? <laughs> now I nod in agreement, because I have tried Mighty Wings, and they are delicious. <laughs> Ethan walks up and checks the price of the Mighty Wings. A ten-piece, to be exact. The price rings up to, and I repeat... And I place emphasis on eight dollars and ninety nine cents U.S. currency plus tax. Plus tax. <laughs> when he came back with the price, I asked him, Ethan, before you go up, what is the taxed price of those wings? Price. And he replied, How can I calculate that? And then I stopped him right there, and I was like, Ethan, what is the taxed subtotal? And then Ethan says, well, I don't remember the sales tax of New Jersey. And I told him right there, it was 7%. 7%. And then he therefore calculated for me. I'm feeling lazy. I actually knew. He then calculated for me that the sales tax subtotal was 63 cents. And that was correct. I applauded him for being so correct. And then I told him, add that to the original price. And what is the total price of those wings? And he tells me. The price is $9.63. And then I stopped him right there. That is incorrect. The price is, the original price was $8.99. And he well, felt so ashamed that he began crying on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> and then I decided Slide. this would be a time to give the cashiers a favor since I work with them. So I went into my wallet and I pulled out exactly $9.62. Nope, didn't. not really. I did not have enough change because I had previously dumped it all into my golden pig of truth. <laughs> you did? So, change-wise, we had, were insufficient, so I simply had him bring $10 up and go and hand it in. He bought his, he bought his 10 wings for nine sixty-two, and brought them back down. And now, I'm a fan of wings, and I 
And I decided, Ethan, you don't have to pay the full $10 for those wings. If you just, if you give me five of those wings, so that the five of those dollars will then be rewired out of your debt. This is the part where I chiseled them down. <laughs> what? And then Ethan, <laughs> ha having seen that the, um, having seen an opportunity to cut down his older brother of his precious, irreplaceable funds, of course. <laughs> told Evan that his $5 would be wired out of his debt, but at the cost of a wing, an entire wing, leaving Evan with a measly four wings to consume. <laughs> Evan decided, thinking back, the ten wings did cost $9. Evan at that moment did not take in to account that there was another 62 cents attached, but he decided that it would be totally fair for an older brother to cover the cost of some 50, 60 cents for his little brother and yeah, agreed enough time to, think about to the four wings. You answered that in like five seconds. And agreed to the four wings <laughs> happily. They consumed the four wings, but were unaware of its effect later when they tried to consume 40. It did not end well. Following this afternoon, actually, later that afternoon, <laughs> they went to play and trade. And Ethan saw, and they started digging through the, um, the buy, what was it? Buy two, get three free weekend bin? Buy two, bin? get three free. That's yeah, just it was really good. Is it buy two, Their weekend bin. Free? Yeah, it's their used games. And they, um. We should have just bought, bought two anyway. Well, the point is that there were, like, so many crappy games that we wouldn't even want to. So then, mm. Ethan found one of his old Lost Loves, Brink. A shooting game that was overhyped. Lost Love? What are you talking about? We, er, years ago, actually. Your butt nugget. He decided that he wanted this game, but we could only find one for the PS3. <gasps> so Evan, in all his graciousness, went up to the counter man and said, You had a battery, that's what he said. My good sir! I would be much obliged if you could check your supplies for an Xbox 360 version of this game. He went back, he found it, and lo and behold, its total price was $8. Quite a bargain, if it was as good of a game as it was supposed to be. So, I was planning to charge Ethan a total of $10 for the game rounded up on him because it was his game he wanted. But then he decided, Evan, if I pay the full cost of this game, you can't play it. And Evan, thinking this over, thought, how selfish are you, Ethan? But I will pay five, I will pay the extra three dollars if you simply owe me five dollars, which rounded Ethan up to a total of fifteen dollars, five dollars for the Krispy Club, five dollars for the wings, and five dollars for the partial amount of Brink, the game that he wanted, him paying the majority of the cost since he was the one who wanted the game. Evan paying off the extra three dollars as the cost towards himself in order to play the game himself. How long have we been talking? And then, of course, Ethan went home, or Ethan and Evan went to Dad's home, put in the game. Ethan sat at a door for 20 minutes, guarding a door. <laughs> for the game. <laughs> and declared the game unsatisfactory. But then I actually finished the mission, and I said it was pretty good. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, game over. The end.